A couple of years ago, I reviewed the new, at that time, Philips Hue Outdoor Lights. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and I installed the bollards, spotlights, and an outdoor light strip. You can, of course, check out those reviews here on the channel by searching Philips Hue Outdoor, and I will make sure that they're linked up below. At the time, I loved them, but I had three unanswered questions. One, how would the lights hold up in a Canadian winter? Two, how long would their lifespan be? And three, how could I get the scheduling features to work better? Here we are, much later, and it's a rainy weekend in Calgary, so I'm down here in the tech test kitchen. But after all this time spent with these outdoor lights, I've gotten ample opportunity to evaluate each of those three points. So in this review update, I'm going to take a look at whether I still think the Philips Hue outdoor lights are a good choice for your yard, and I'll answer those burning questions. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful to please hit that like button and do subscribe because it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there gets to watch, enjoy, and learn from. Let's start with the light strips. When I did this review a couple of years ago, I noted the light strips themselves are fat and bulky. This is not the same as indoor light strips, which you can basically run flat along any surface. These are about an inch wide and half an inch thick. Think more like rubber tubing than a light strip. After all this time, I can confidently say that these lights should be used nowhere near any stairs. There is just way too much of a tripping hazard. Instead, I opted to run these along the edge of my deck to create some background or ambient lighting. It turns out this light is actually pretty bright and can illuminate an area really well. In all honesty, I've left it sitting out here through two summers and two winters, and I can say now that the lights are still working just perfectly. They seem to be able to last through extraordinary temperature fluctuations from about 35 degrees Celsius to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Similarly, the spotlights and bollard lights have also held up really well after two years of weather. All the lights are still working just as well as they did when I installed them. So to answer two of my main questions, each of these lights has been extraordinarily successful in holding up against harsh weather and seems to be lasting. When it comes to the scheduling feature, it seems Philips has been able to resolve these problems. And in all honesty, they probably resolved them a long time ago, but since I haven't done an update, we'll get everything caught up right now. I had a really hard time initially figuring out how to properly schedule the lights to come on at dusk and go off at sunrise. Mine would just not get on board. Thankfully, scheduling and even using changing sunrise and sunset times is now really easy. Inside the Philips Hue app under Routines and then Other Routines, there's a way to have the lights come on at sunset and then automatically turn off at dawn. You can completely customize your schedule and have different on and off times during the day and on the weekends if you want. It's also possible to have the lights turn on and come on as custom colors and combinations. Overall, I am really happy to say the interface for this is now super easy to use and interpret, and I've been very successful in scheduling it so that it adapts to my needs all year round. Overall, I have to say that more than two years into my experience now, I'm still absolutely thrilled with the aesthetics, the durability, and the excellent control and scheduling features I now get with each of these different outdoor lights. I can definitely recommend any or all of them for you and your space. Don't forget to check out the full reviews of these lights to learn more about exactly what they can do in your home or your yard space. Whether you own your home and you're looking for a semi-permanent installation, or maybe you're renting and you want something you can take with you, these lights have given me years of enjoyment and I have no doubt it's going to be exactly the same for you. If you want to read more or see those reviews, everything is at techgadgetscanada.com. Head over there. You can also post any questions you have for me about these lights, either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. Look for at ErinLYYC. You can also reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.